Where do I get my probiotics? A question that I get quite often, so today I'm going to answer it and I will share with you my favorite recipe. My name is Tanzila, welcome back to my channel. So this is my probiotics. I produce probiotics myself in my kitchen and I think it's the main um, good benefit of uh, probiotics that I can make them at home. I don't need to go and buy them outside. It's important to learn how to make your own probiotics and take care of them. So I will share with you my probiotics for now. It's first of all my liquid, liquid probiotics and first of all it's my kombucha. I love kombucha and I have probably about six or seven jars of kombucha because I use it as my pre-workout um, drink and during workout drink and because I work out I need a lot of kombucha. And next we have water kefir. If you have seen my previous videos then you know I use it quite often so if you want to learn how to make it please watch one of my last videos about how to make water kefir. Finally I have coconut kefir. I think it's the best. I, it's my favorite a probiotic drink. So today I will share this recipe. So um, you will see how I make it. Here we see fermented vegetables. It's also an outstanding source of uh, probiotics. I have pickled cucumbers, then sauerkraut and fermented radishes and cauliflower. So now I'll show you how I make coconut kefir. So to make a coconut kefir, all I need is two ingredients, is coconut water and kefir grains. So let's make it together. Now here I have ready coconut kefir. So what I, I do is I take a clean jar and a strainer and I pour my ready coconut kefir through this strainer. Let's do it. So here we see my kefir grains. Sometimes they have also, they call them Tibetan kefir grains. So it doesn't matter what is the name. Normally they use it for normal milk kefir. So I will use this and I will take in another jar, clean jar. And first I pour coconut water into my new jar. Okay. I usually rinse them under the water. Let's do that. Let's drop them in the coconut water. And now we cover it with a clean napkin. So our coconut kefir is ready for fermentation. We leave it in a room temperature at least for eight hours and then we can use it and drink it whenever we want. We can use it in the morning or in the evening, it doesn't matter. Let's try it. This is one of the best probiotic drinks that I have in my kitchen and I recommend that you have the same. So if you like this video, please let me know in the comments below. And for more information about how to look younger, live longer and also eat for beauty, please subscribe for my 5 beauty recipes on my website. And I will see you in my next video.